Hello. I don't believe we've met. Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Looking forward to beating you at Sumner's Court today. Shall we begin? Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Accio! What was I thinking? That was sensational. Akia. Yes. <laughs> to top that. Akio! Akio! Oh, how am I to top that? That settles it, then. <laughs> After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Have a moment of your time. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way, and I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time, even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret to Pulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows to Pulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? How did Herodiana Byrne become famous by casting Depulso? 
She once saved orphans from a wild graffhorn by banishing it over Stonehenge. That's on Salisbury Plain. She once banished a meddlesome dark wizard all the way to Durmstrang while she was in the Alps. That one may have been exaggerated, but lots of the stories about her certainly aren't. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. Revelio! Now to see if Herodiana Byrne was as good as Sophronia said she was.
Kill. Reset everything. Good to know. Reset everything. 
Good to know. Akio! That's the last of them. Seems I was a match for Heredy and a burn. Oh, that wasn't too hard. Wonder what's next. Revelio. Revelio. Also went on to do the exact same thing. I want to say what Well, did you find the hall of Herodiana? Well, I'd appreciate Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero! Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well... I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... <sighs> Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies... Attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him.
I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He'd planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Oh, Uncle Roland, what have you got yourself into? I hope Adelaide's Uncle Roland is all right. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. Is campsite? Ranrock's loyalists, just ahead. Should I take them by force or be discreet? Find out what happened here. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. <laughs> A rock formation? That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. You'll have to fight him, Vincent. Oh. What the? Incendio. Oh. The beasts are safer now.
Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. What do we have here? Don't do that again, I beg you! I could do this! But they go! Lucky! Oh! Bingo! Troubles. Hmm. Easily diverted. Akio, your spell slant. Pity, not quite. And also, was that your best? Oh, that was meant for me. A ladder. That's what I need. Incendio, you can't stop us. You eat. No! Protego, why? Do Expelliant. The wizards will. This is the spot on the map. I best have my wits about me. What will we find in here? Revelio. Well, it's punishment to us all to have that. Defender. You get around. Incendium. Expelling on us. Away with that. <laughs> It looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. You only have Ranrock to blame. Alohomora. Rebellion. Student 
defeated our encampment in the next. Expelliarmus. Incendio. No! Predigo. Get accustomed to that! Defender. Confringo. I shall avenge your death. <laughs> you are terror! Stop it! Expelliarmus. Incendio. Confringo. I'll get away with that. I shall avenge your death! Potato, why can't you kill me? Defender! I'll get away with that. to open it. Incendio! Since we Akio. Was well, that your best? Randrock won't be stopped. Glacier. Much better. <laughs> oh, that was me. You can't stop Glacier. Confringo! Predictable. Expelliarmus! Losing your strong. Potato! Your time is short, child! Incendio! Defendo! Get away with that! Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. Be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. down there.
Not to fight. Right. Expelliarmus. Glacius. Incendio. Mr. Oaks? Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. Please, pass me my wand. I can't get out of this damn cell without it. Revelio. Incendio. my wand and wait you're a student oh we must get you to safety immediately it's dangerous it's all right mr oaks i've dealt with these goblins before dear merlin you're either very lucky or very talented how did you find me i'm a friend of adelaide's she was worried about your business with ranrock's loyalists oh she was right to be i couldn't go through with the agreement and when i told them i ended up blindfolded and behind bars been locked in that infernal cell for so long they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. Revelio!
that has gone on too long. It's not the best place to be caught alone. Stop it! Expelliant! You've been paying
This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. Better have a look around. See about the Hawk Clumps and the Box of Letters. That's all the Hawk Clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Either I'll have to fight that trap, or avoid it altogether. Defender! Expelliant! Confringo! This must be Serona's box of letters. I think that's everything. Serona will be glad to have this back. I should find Mrs. Sprottle. She'll be glad to get these hawk lumps. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. I have good news. I was able to harvest some hawk clumps for you, and I found Serona's box of letters. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The travelling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. And Serona will be delighted to have those letters. 
How kind of you. Now you be careful heading back to Hogsmeade. I should take this box of letters to Serona. She'll be glad to have it back. Hope they know what they're doing. Broom. Revelio. Not that Lawley's none too pleased. Seems he's been burgled. I shall pretend I never heard the rumors of- Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Mr Weeks and I do make a good team.
I should investigate. This mentions in theory, and something about it being part of time next. Protego! Defend us! Kundringo! Incendio! Is that inferior? Would it jump up? That must be bad. Incendio! Bardock's full of jump up. I'm not sure that Bardock would want to know what really happened to him. Confringo! Defender! My sincerest gratitude. Madam Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Badolf? What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Badolf had been turned into an inferior, and I had to kill him. What? How could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? 
That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no. No. This can't be. <gasps> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, bad off. Bad off. My dear, dear brother. Oh, it's you? <sighs> the good you've done on behalf of the Arthur Hogsfield residents. I could use some gold. I What was huh? Thought we'd finish it. <laughs> Capulso! You're the little son. Overtaken! Master! <laughs> I'll bet that one hurt. Oh, still, you little man. The pulsar. Accio. Give the gringo. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Careful not to get it. Beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now.
I almost captured a Graphorn in the forest. It escaped, but still. Akio. Seems <laughs> That's all you are. Admirable trick. Defender. No. Try dodging this. Akio. Huh? Come on, Springo. Oh. I'd advise you not to do that. Do you survive that heat? Come on, Springo. Glacier, uh, Springo. Potato. Just a matter of time. Level your soul. <laughs> that will just warm you up. Friend. Confringo! Yeah. Trying to make me an admirer of this yeah. challenge, are we? Huh? Confringo! Potato! Stop that at once. Let's see you survive that heat. Defender! Confringo! Confringo! That's mine! Depulsa. Wingardium Leviosa. Depulsa. You ain't wearing that goblin helm, you stole. <laughs> it's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. These rocks have seen better days. Ah, 
shield. Nothing to poach in Arringer except spiders. Thinking in terms of good and evil merely indicates a limited imagination. I tell you this. Hogwarts is lucky they've got one and stop right there! I'll get that goblin health back. Hopefully by rummaging your corpse. If it isn't, Nora Treadwell's guardian angel. Defender, Incendio, Protego, Stupid Expelliarmus, Confringo, Glacius, What's that? Levioso, Stop thinking around like a Finnewick, Glacius. Defender. Defender. Glacier. Depulsor. Akio. Confringo. Expelliarmus! Defender! Glacius! Levioso! Compulsor! Akio! Incendio. There's a victory that came none too soon. Ugh. Send you. Defender. 
Incendio. A castle must have been quite stately in its time.
Revelio. Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Ugh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It would be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. I managed to rescue a puffskin. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskin. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready.
Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a jobbernal. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cosy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Revelio. Rebellion.
What's up? There, there. Not going to hurt you. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Deke can show you how to use them. 
Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Most excellent. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke.
thinks. You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. Hello, be with you in a bit. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. You have a good head for business, haven't you? No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Have a look around. I'll be with you in just a minute. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Always open. You be sure to stop by soon.
I'm told that last Clementine had you chasing butterflies all through the forest. She's quite a one, that girl. Greetings. Please, take your time looking about. No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Historically speaking, there's never been a thing like this. fixation with I was wondering when I'd see you again. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? I cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed.
Ugh.